right, right outside this door, there's a bathroom. And in that bathroom, there's a kitten. <laughs> yeah, I saw this. And hopefully she has come down from the light fixture by now. I thought I would give her some time to settle in before I go bother her again, because when we took her out of the trap, she's spider kitten. I have never seen a cat parkour. Like, I think there's one of those super high bounce balls in the center of this cat. <laughs> Why are because you doing she went, this? She went from the side of the bathtub up to the window, up to the shower curtain rod. And she walked on that for a minute and then she jumped to a shelf and then down to the toilet and then to the sink and then to the towel bar and then to the light fixture. What? All why? In like eight seconds. Why? Why is this happening? Um. Well, she was a stray. I don't think she was really a feral because she's very young. She's probably less than a year, and so I think she got dumped. And she had been coming around for food. And then last Friday night, mm -hmm. she met Houdini and got buggered oh, on my deck. <laughs> Our little motion sensor camera picked up some kitty porn. Kitty. kitty. T yeah, T-T-Y, not D-D-I-E. So I was like, well, crap, I don't need her having kittens. So we trapped her, and then we got her spayed. And uh, she wasn't microchipped or anything, but I don't think she's really feral, so I don't want to just release her into the world, this poor little baby. So she's in our bathroom, and we're going to try and socialize her, and um, maybe she'll live here. You're, you're gonna end up with like 200 cats in that house. <laughs> Dan's like, no. Dan really didn't want to go over three, but she's, um, she plays dirty dirt. She's really cute, and I play dirty. And I was like, oh my gosh, do you know? I just realized she kind of looks like your old cat Jack, who you loved so much and who tragically died of a neurological condition. Because I'm the worst. Yeah. Yeah, the resident cat cats are being champs. Like when Simba came home, Peggy went on a homicidal rampage and tried to murder us all. And I was worried about that. And Peggy's been super chill. Like Peggy's been extra friendly and it's just like, okay. Dottie is like annoyed, but doesn't seem very upset. So like this might go okay. 200 cats. 200. I mean, this would be four. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a start. Houdini's not going to move it because he doesn't want to move it. He's a man about town. I just need to get his balls cut off. So he can stop buggering kittens. That's a. And also, like, Sunday's my birthday. And I'm not saying we should keep this little cat for my birthday, but I'm not not saying that either. Anyway. She was all alone in the world. <clears throat> well, technically, no. If 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 there was porn going on, she wasn't. But yeah, I don't think <laughs> I don't think she was as into it as he was. Cause cats. Yeah. Um. But she was all alone in the world, and she was a crucial face. And now she's leaping about your bathroom like like a yeah. fucking spider monkey. So yeah. All right, with that in mind, it's time for the nonsense. Let's get this queued up and ready to go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide airwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And uh, it's... it's this keeps happening. It's like every weird hiccup of our species brings us a new, why do we keep doing this? Um, the pandemic has uh, made us had to, as, uh, we've had to adapt socially. Yeah. And one of those adaptations is Zoom and online meetings and stuff. And there's a whole new etiquette that's evolved. And a lot of people have been pretty quick on the uptake. And some people... Have, have have not 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 in the, this this one a lot of people sent me this one sadly uh this comes from uh I believe this is portugal 
Uh, Peru. It's Peru. Sorry. Um, lawyer snapped having sex during virtual court hearing. Lawyer's been caught engaging in sexual activity while on camera during a live streamed virtual court hearing. Peruvian lawyer Hector Cipriano Paredes Robles, Robles? Robles. Has Robles. been Robles? Robles. I would, Robles. I would guess. Yeah. Has been taking part in a hearing involving local gang Los Z de Chancamayo. Chancamayo. When he left the judge and other viewers stunned with his x rated display. Robles was seen stripping naked while on camera before kissing a naked woman. The woman was then seen performing a sexual act. He got a blowy. On him while the court hearing was in session. The outraged judge immediately called a halt to proceedings, ripping into Robles for having disrespected the dignity of the court. Lawyers like, lack. Shouldn't you be paying attention? This next line is like. It kills me. Um, this lawyer has lacked the honor and dignity of the profession, the judge said. I mean. I mean, there are a lot of adjectives that come to mind when I think of lawyer. Honorable and dignified. Have you seen some of the fucking commercials? Come on now. We have a guy out here called the strong arm. If you get in a car accident, call the strong arm. Is that the good ship lolly poop? Yeah, it is. No. We got it. We got a we got an upstairs litter robot. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's running. I, I don't. How do you? What? Like, first of all, don't do that in a Zoom. Second, you have the kind of job where you should be paying attention. Right? It seems important that they have your full attention. You would think. And yet. No, it's just, I, how have we gotten, we are over a year into this shit, and people are still like, oh, was I not supposed, was that wrong? Was I not oh, supposed I, to do that? Oh, I, I'm on camera when I'm on, like, if do you, you see all the other people on camera? If you wouldn't stop in the middle of a courtroom to get a blowy in the, before the pandemic, why yeah. are you doing it after the pandemic? Like, if you wouldn't bring your girlfriend to court to slobber your knob under the desk while you're doing your hearing. Right? It's, like, you could not wait another, like, 30 minutes. Really? Yeah, come on, timing. You're at home. What the fuck? Yeah. <sighs> I, <sighs> the honor and dignity of the profession. <laughs> the like during the hearing your attention is required sir i think somebody's been watching too much matlock i swear all right oh, perry mason perry mason yeah uh but that's not all we have even more of this shit although of course because it's america we're pretending like the pandemic's already over it's not over um from the department of this is why we can't have nice things for Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is a place no one should ever go. Isn't it a big vacation destination? Yes, no one should. Okay, he, he, this is this is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. God dropped the Hard Rock, a Ripley's, and a Hooters on the edge of the ocean and washed his hands of the whole thing. That's that's uh, fucking Myrtle Beach. I thought oh. people went there to go to the beach. No, they go there for very racist t-shirts. Oh. Incredibly okay. racist t-shirts. That That is the hallmark of Myrtle Beach. Well, couple charged for sex in glass gondola. South Carolina couple is facing indecent exposure charges after allegedly filming themselves engaging in sex acts inside a glass gondola on the Myrtle Beach sky wheel. Police allege that Lori Harmon and her husband Eric, both 36, were 
within the view of the public earlier this month when Lori exposed her breast and performed oral sex on her spouse, whose penis was exposed. Yeah, well, you kind of have to expose your penis. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that without it. Yeah. Explicit activity was recorded and uploaded to an adult website where it was viewed by Myrtle Beach Police Department officers. An arrest warrant was not, uh, does not identify the website or reveal how investigators discovered the clip. <laughs> like, that's a good question. Was this like, wait a second, I've been there. At what other landmarks have you two publicly fucked? Yeah, but was the cop just like cruising on Pornhub <laughs> and went, wait a minute, I've uh, been looking at the thumbnails and... Oh, I was thinking they were arresting her, and he was like, I know you. Other videos show the Harmons engaged in sex acts in a community pool. Ew. And yeah. at a Myrtle Beach resort. Seen for above. a lot of reasons, because, um, fellas, quick tip for you, pool sex, not as cool as it looks in the movies, because water makes terrible lube, especially chlorinated water. Um. Under the name Lucky Lacey, the Harmons posted about 140 explicit videos to Pornhub where their page has received more than 11,000 subscribers and 2.7 views before it recently disappeared. Um, I, <sighs> I promise you they're going to plead not guilty. You know they are. Yeah. I, it, They're going to have the fucking audacity to plead not guilty. Yeah. And the judge is going to be like, it's on Pornhub. <laughs> Too oh, we took it down. I mean, someone took it down. Yeah, if you don't think those things get ripped and copied a billion times. 2.7 million views. Man. And you know what? They don't even. I bet you they don't even have the common decency to pay the people who have to sterilize that shit. No. Now, now, so, it's, there's a pandemic. From now on, anytime anyone rides the glass gondola in Myrtle, you're gonna have to wonder: Am I sitting in the fuck gondola? Is this? Actually, you know what? Pretty much all of them probably been the fuck on. Probably yeah. at some point. It's Myrtle teen Beach. Because teenagers are a thing. Well, teenagers are a thing, and also Myrtle Beach is terrible. I, I, you don't know. You just don't know until you live here. Myrtle Beach is the worst. And like I just blamed it on teenagers when these people are grown ass adults. That's right. So yeah, you know, yeah. both thirty six. So that's just me being an old. <sighs> we got more caught on video. It's from Florida, and um. I don't know why you, why this dude thought this was going to, I don't know why you thought you're going to walk away from this one. Video shows bat wielding man beating Volusia Sheriff's office vehicles. Man arrested wearing the same outfit as in surveillance video. <laughs> Man was spotted beating several Volusia Sheriff's Office vehicles on Wednesday uh, with a bat. Deputies say Michael Anthony Alicia, 28, was seen at their District 4 headquarters in Deltona. Images from the headquarters show multiple windows were smashed in or broken. Alicia was later arrested wearing the same black t-shirt and gray t-shirt and gray athletic shorts he was wearing during the incident. I mean, we're not even kidding here. Look, look, the, where's the, where's the, the Twitter? Oh, the tweets aren't coming through. Why are the tweets coming through? So did he right. like specifically go down there just to do this? Apparently. Was this like his plans for the day? Like there he is with the bat in the, in there he just smashing away. And then here he is arrested in the exact, he didn't even bother to change. There, there he is. And here he is the exact same fucking outfit. Why? Yeah, like at least go home and change clothes. Why the of all the places to do a vandalism? Yeah, a sheriff is guaranteed to have a shit ton of cameras. Like 
you should just already assume that there's there's cameras everywhere anyway. This is yeah. it, it's the 21st century. Welcome. But it's <laughs> computer owning strangers, Alps, yada yada yada. Yeah. Let me find a stranger. Yeah. I just I yeah, I, okay, it's the cops. I can understand you want to smash up their shit. That's yeah, fair. You know, fair. Like the police. However, fuck the police responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> or at least intelligently. Right? Just the, the Don't expression, fuck yourself in the process. That mugshot, the expression on his face is like, and? Yeah, and? Yeah, you got me. <laughs> I bet you I do it again, man. And that's like, my question is like, did he specifically grab his bat and drive down to the sheriff's department? Like, like, today is the day. Right, like, what happened there? Just you fucking lo- just done. Just some days you get to be done. Yeah, a cab within reason. Yeah. A <laughs> cab responsibly. Uh, I, I was, it's, what? Normally, the idea of crime is to get away with crime. Yeah. Not to immediately get arrested. Like, did you have nothing better to do that day? I mean, nothing maybe like, he's on some like, on some like serious genius Joker shit, <laughs> where he's like, "No, I wanted to get arrested. It's all part of my master plan." Do I look like somebody with a plan? <laughs> He doesn't. In he fact. doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, speaking of somebody with a plan, um, just not a very good one. This is from uh, Chesterfield. I believe this is, this is New York. I think Cherry Hill Courier Post. This is Jersey. This is it's Jersey. That makes sense. Um, I want to stress again. While many other, I think all of Canada has made marijuana illegal. If I'm th- if I'm correct. Um. Only parts of America, and we don't. We technically, marijuana isn't legal in America. It's only locally is not. It, they're not enforcing the statute, is yeah. what it comes down to. Federally, like my state. yeah, federally, it's still fucking illegal technically. But but like in Denver, you can't throw a rock without hitting a dispensary. It's big business here. Jersey, however, is not yet among those places and that's very important to figure out where it is it is not legal for the weed especially if you're applying for a tax break oh no landlords requests led investigators to marijuana growing operation the audacity of this motherfucker a request for a tax break led to drug charges against a new york city man oh this is brooklyn um uh, Weiming Liu, uh, 57, of Brooklyn, is accused of operating a, quote, large-scale marijuana growing operation at a Chesterfield farm. Uh, it alleged Liu's weed crop occupied greenhouses, pole barns, and other buildings at a lease property, the 100 block of Chesterfield Crosswicks Road. Okay, so this isn't, he went to Jersey to do it. Am I, not, am I mistaken, or is New York already, New York City, have they already legalized it? They decriminalized it. They decriminalized it. it. So, like, it's not legal, but they're not going to really push it. So, dude, it's like, it's, it's, it's decriminalized in New York City. Dude pushed his fucking luck. I mean, and to be fair, there's not a lot of farm space in New York City. An investigation began when Lou's landlord, whose name was not released, requested a property tax reduction under the state's Farmland Assessment Act said the application was rejected after Chesterfield's tax assessor conducted a peripheral inspection conducted the site and concluded the site was not in agricultural use. When the landlord appealed, a more detailed on-site inspection led to the discovery of the marijuana growing operation. I need a tax break for my farm. Oh, okay, well, what are you growing? Nothing. Plants. Stuff. <laughs> It's Just, green. You know, some stuff. Okay, well, we need to fill out this form. 
I just, I love it that he said, he said, I want a tax break. Mm, well, we, we can't, we don't know really in this case. No, come look again. He actually requested the fucking appeal. Like, was that the landlord's low key way of turning him in without turning him in? That's kind of a dick move, honestly. <laughs> but if you want the guy off your land. I mean, honestly, if I was a landlord and dude was growing marijuana, I wouldn't try to get him busted. I would just up the fucking rent. You grow a pot? Fuck. I mean, I don't think I'd even up the rent. I'd just ask for the, some weed. I mean, <laughs> your rent is now $1,000 and a bag of weed. <laughs> yeah, but how big a bag of weed? Are we talking like a like bag a of weed? Bag. I'd be breaking out of like a pillowcase at this point. Come on, man. I don't know that I could go through that much every month. What about I, going? To I definitely no, you almost Dan smoked one joint and almost died. <laughs> he was dry heaving in the bathroom for literally hours. Yeah, I I can't I can't attest to being any better at it. I've I've had like, like AIDS. he can drink five bottles of whiskey and only be mildly buzzed. But if he smokes one, like apparently weed is his fucking kryptonite. <laughs> See, I I had a joint and it was just kind of a thing. I didn't really kind of enjoy it. But I'd get the bag and sell it to some motherfucker. I'm just glad I discovered this at home and not at a party. Yeah, because he was he was in a bad way. Dottie uh, kept like wandering into the bathroom to poke him with her nose to see if he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to eat you. Are you dead yet? Excuse me, mommy says you pay for my food. Are you dead? <laughs> just the, the, the audacity, like the tax. What the tax guy gonna do? Be like, oh, okay, that's fine. This is just weed. No big. Oh, okay. We'll get there, but it is not yet that day. Yeah. Oh, here's another uh, fun home inspection that went horribly awry. I, I this is from Michigan. I am baffled. Be baffled along with me, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I want to point out this was over a grand total of fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. Not an insignificant amount, but in the grand scheme, not a huge one. Honestly, fifteen hundred. That's that's not. I mean, we've seen way worse. Man charged after police find booby trap in Michigan home. Twinning Macaulay Michigan. Macaulay Culkin? That's Twining Michigan. Yeah, well, it's not Macaulay Culkin. A northeastern Michigan man has been arrested after authorities say a booby trap was found in his home as police served a search warrant connected to a stolen credit card. Roger Broadstone, 67 was arraigned Monday on attempted murder, arson for preparing to burn a building, placing an offensive substance with intent to injure, disarming an officer, resisting police, and other charges. Broadstone is accused of barricading himself inside his home and refusing to allow officers inside. No, you're just going to yell at me. Say police say officers wanted to speak with him about $1,500 in merchandise purchase online. $1,500. Have you ever seen a movie called Enemy of the State? Yeah. Will Smith. Why did you blow up the building? Because you made a phone call. They don't describe what the booby trap is. With that list of charges, I want to know what the fuck that trap was. That that was that that that's like some serious bullshit. Did you like the bucket propped on the door thing with napalm? Like what the fuck? Broadstone was arraigned on January 25th on charges of using a computer to commit a crime and illegally using a financial transaction. Of a, all right, look, fifteen hundred. That, that is that is still petty crime. Yeah. At that point, you can likely that's a misdemeanor. You, you're going to pay a fine over that shit, and you know what? But, you can owe them on that. Get a payment plan and shit. But then you had to try and burn everybody to death. Then you had to get fucking like MacGyver on this shit. <laughs> he never take my ass alive. <laughs> well, they did. And now it's worse. You, you made Once it worse. We are compounding the error. Roger, you made it worse, Roger. What the fuck? I don't know how you.
how you get to 67 and think the proper way to contend with this shit is booby traps. Because you get to 67 and, and you get to fuck it. Well, yeah, but I have never encountered a situation in all my life that has either been solved or improved with a booby trap. Not one. No. Well, he has. <laughs> what? You used to set booby traps for your bullies. Oh, yeah, that was fun. He, he, used, to, he used to litter his root home with traps for the group of kids that would beat him up, so... Five people run at different speeds. Therefore, if you set things at specific in instances, you can clobber the crap out of people. My husband, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like bullies. I, I just, I... $1,500, okay. you did this over $1,500. Like... You gotta set a bomb over fifteen hundred bucks. Just get a payment plan. That Mother almost feels like the larceny was an excuse for the bomb. Right. Uh, well, if you think that's bad, next guy takes it even further. This is from Arizona. Man starts fire in Walmart, causes six million dollars worth of damage. Man has been arrested in Arizona after allegedly starting a fire inside a Walmart store in the city of Mesa, causing $6 million worth of damage. Mesa police said in a statement to Newsweek that it responded to a fire alarm from the garden center at the store near Rio Cialdo. Um, firefighters from Mesa, Tempe, and Phoenix responded to the alarm. Everybody! That's a lot. That's um, a big fire. So, okay, you'd be tempted to say, well, Walmart just inflated that. No, 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 no. If three different cities worth of firefighters showed up, shit got real. Yeah. Officials described the smoke as, quote, being so heavy, it encompassed their feet and so thick, the firefighters had little to no visibility as they walked inside. Police added that the smoke had activated the sprinkler system, which helped contain the fire that had now ignited several pallets of merchandise fan was used to clear the smoke. Closed circuit TV captured the suspect picking out items in the store before heading to the garden center where he gathered cushions and padding in a pile on the floor. Footage allegedly showed the suspect spraying lighter fluid on the items and merchandise before setting it on fire and running away. He was seen carrying several products, including a Walmart jacket and blanket. He set a distraction. This was all to steal a jacket and a blanket? Jackets and blankets, including several. Yeah, he set a fucking distraction. The name is killing me. The dude's name. Investigators identified the suspect as Marcus Many Goats. Probably Native American. Many Goats? Yeah. If he's a goat farmer. I've... Really? Maybe? That, I don't know. That's one you're going to want to pass. That's one you want to pass down. Look, look, if, if I would ended up Marcus Many Goats, I would have been Smith in a heartbeat. I'm just saying. Maybe, maybe there's a long and proud tradition of Many Goats going maybe. back centuries. A long and storied history of goats, but... It's many goats, man. I don't know. I mean, have you ever made a goat angry? <laughs> you don't want to fuck with a goat. You certainly don't want to fuck with many goats. <laughs> That's a badass name. They eventually got his many goat. Ah. Uh, mm. Like. Story you want the many goats? store officials. Many goats was found a thousand yards away from the scene. Dude could book. Store officials told uh, officers the smoke, water damage, and store closure would cost between six and ten million dollars. Here's the thing, though. If you're going to set that big a fire, you need to be playing supermarket sweep. Shit, yeah. You need to make that shit worth it. Get a car. Like you, don't, you don't do that and steal two things. 
No, you get a cart, you load it up, you do that thing where it, it makes it way enough where you can jump on it with one foot and just pump that fucker and just go. Pull like a fucking Fred Flintstone and just, yeah. you know, six million dollars. Make your felonies worth it. <laughs> oh, Ronan said, you want a fire sale? I'll give you a fire sale. That's that's not good. Dude. Why? Because it didn't suck enough to work at Walmart. No, man, <laughs> of all the retail, nothing is worse at retail. I've told stories about the shoes. Retail. This job would be great if it wasn't for all the fucking customers. When I worked at Old Navy, we used to have teenagers who would come in and set off stink bombs like once every couple of weeks. So the whole store reeked like sulfur. Okay, that that's 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 annoying. That's annoying. That sucked. But they didn't burn down the fucking store. Although I will say a thousand yards, that dude can jeez. That's, that's ten football fields. Well, if you'd set that big of a fire, I think you'd run too. Probably. Why? What was the what was the point? I don't think this plan does not seem like a good plan. It doesn't seem worth it. The lighter fluid was probably what was the, the, the poor choice. I mean, it was all a poor choice, but the lighter fluid probably made a difference between, you know, a probably smoke alarm. Overkill. Yeah, it was different between a smoke alarm and a Holy fucking shit. inferno. Yeah. I, I, oh my God. I guess the first thing we learned this week is make your felonies count. Make it worth it, man. Right. You're going to have to tell the story to card carrying badasses. <laughs> and also we've learned that uh, proportionate response, you know, if the cops are coming for you just because you stole a credit card, maybe don't try to nuke them. Yeah. They, they don't like it when you nuke them. No. I don't really know anybody that does, if we're being honest. Also, we've learned um, you don't just need to know the tax code. You also need to know where your drugs are legal before you try and get that, uh, that break. And I, I'll tell you what. I've, I've, I've gotten creative with my, uh, my write-offs. That's true. I, I've just never involved you know acres of marijuana. Someday, though. Someday. Um, Do you like write off Grady as an employee? Cat food is a business expense. I, I mean, I didn't, but I was tempted. Um, we've learned that uh, there are cameras everywhere, and while pissing, while fucking with the cops is not exactly a bad thing. Maybe you need to have a little bit more of a plan than just hit shit with a bat. Yeah, maybe be less of a moron. Um, That's a good tip for everybody. We've learned there's nothing wrong with sex work, there, there, but there, there is something wrong with involving others in your sex work without their consent. That's, if your work is not sex work, then your work does not need sex at work. <laughs> right? That was really clumsy. Just, you, you don't, you, did you need the blowy right then? The blowy can wait. The blowy can always wait. Yeah. Give it half hour, hour. It, 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 it's still there. It's still an option. You don't need, it's like, you got to hold that. It's like, it's like fucking GameStop stock. <laughs>